When I purchase a brand new phone, one of the first things I'll do is I'll put a screen protector on it and a phone case on the back to make sure that if I drop it, I don't scratch it and I don't cause damage to it. And I'll follow all the rules in the owner's manual provided to me by those who made the phone to ensure that I can treat this phone in a manner that will allow it to thrive for many years. If that's the attention I give to something as simple and replaceable as my phone, what then of the scratches and the damage I've caused my heart every single time I do something that displeases Allah or every time I stay away from that which pleases Allah, I hurt myself and I cause harm to this irreplaceable piece of flesh that on the day of judgment will be the star of the show. We tend to look at halal and haram as a set of rules, a set of do's and don'ts that we take on as a burden, when in reality it's nothing more than the owner's manual given to us by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created us and He knows fully well, if you do this, it will hurt you. If you stay away from this, it will be beneficial for you. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doesn't want anything for us but the best in this life. And the best is attaining a level of being from those who are the closest to him. However, to achieve that, we must go through a refining process. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allows difficulties and trials and tribulations to enter our life for no other reason but to make us stronger, but to make us better, to make us whole and complete and elevate closer to him. But instead of making us, we end up breaking ourselves and we accumulate layers upon our hearts that not only make life difficult but it removes the desire in us to get closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so we start seeking happiness and fulfillment and peace in everything and everyone else other than where we should be seeking them we start feeding our heart everything that it wasn't created for and so Tahliq Institute was created with the aim of removing the layers of these hearts inshallah and being a means of reforming and restoring the hearts of Muslims and non-Muslims alike so that we can actually achieve the understanding of this is where everything it is that I'm in search for lies, the words of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So this Ramadan, when you and I are concerned with getting closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, be concerned about your brothers and sisters all around the world who are hurting and in need of healing and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Consider Tahliq Institute among the list of many great causes and charities you are giving your sadaqah to and help us be a means and help yourself be a means of not just healing hearts around the world but being a part of the sadaqah jariah. Thank <laughs> you.